Hello everyone, I am here with a new Krita tutorial, a very easy one and that is how to create a seamless pattern. Let's open a new document and set it to 8 inches by 8 inches and the resolution to 300 pixels. And create. Here is the new document. The first thing I do is I create my own color palette. Uh, you can create a custom color palette or you can download a color palette which you like from the internet and then uh, create a color palette from that. So I imported the picture as a dual layer and now what I am going to do is I am going to select the color picker and then click on the color I want to be added in my color palette and then I will select the brush tool. And color a little on the canvas this will add the color in my color palette as you can see on the extreme right side of the screen I will continue this process with all the colors which are to be added in my color palette Once I am satisfied with the colors I want to be added, I will delete this layer like this. Ta -da! Now I will start creating the motifs. I am selecting the brush to number 5, the basic brush number 5. You can uh, create the pattern using any of the brushes you want and uh, we will go freestyle over here.
okay so this is the basic elements i want in my uh, pattern so once i am satisfied with the elements i want in my pattern um i will add a little bit more mo motive here and there uh, one thing leave the edges empty uh for by about 1 cm i will show you why after we are satisfied we will click this this icon right here after you click this see it turned into a seamless pattern how easy it is but we see empty spaces and it is uh, not looking very pleasing to the eye so what we will do is while keeping it in the seamless pattern mode or a wrap mode we will start filling up the spaces with different motifs flowers or anything you want select your colors and just fill up these spaces which look best to you i am doing flowers you can make butterflies or leaves or anything you want just keep on experimenting and see what's pleasing to your eyes Okay, now once we are satisfied with the uh, pattern and how it looks, I am going to remove it from the wrap mode. I like how it looks. I'm, I guess, satisfied. Just a little bit of dot here and there to fill up the empty spaces. you can still make some tweaking if you like like fill up the empty spaces even more or delete some motifs or erase some motifs or add some motifs or change the position whatever looks pleasing to your eye here i am i am adding a background color i will add a layer upon the background there and i will simply paint the layer with the color i selected you can keep it white you can keep it dark whatever you like and the color which is uh, here it will appear on all the seamless pattern because you are coloring the tile
Now once you are completely satisfied with how the seamless pattern looks, you are going to click again on the wrap mode and this is a tile you have created. I am going to save it as a JPEG. What I do is I like to uh, join the tiles together in Photoshop but you can use whatever method you want to join together the tiles. I am going to open the tile in my Photoshop. 300 pixels and 8000 by 8000. Pixels is the image size. I am going to open up the file. my canvas is a little bit small sorry I did not gauge the size correctly you can adjust the size I am increasing the width and the height I guess it's okay I will adjust the extra canvas later on now I am going to duplicate the style to create a seamless pattern. I will duplicate it again. And then duplicate it again. There you go, you can remove the extra uh, canvas and there it is, you've got a perfect seamless pattern. Isn't this so easy? If you like the tutorial, please give a thumbs up. This is one of the ways I create my patterns for my fabric. You can create these patterns and use it on so many items like for creating the wallpapers, for creating the wrapping sheets and the uh, options are limitless. Hope you like the tutorial. Till the next time. Bye bye.